Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started demo with DBT on Dremio. Before we get started here, let's go into a little bit of details about what DBT is. Also known as the Data Build Tool, DBT is used to transform your data by using select statements and transforming them into tables and views within Dremio. It basically represents the T in the ELT process. DBT also supports version control capabilities such as Git, so other prerequisites that's required, we're going to need Git or GitHub desktop. We're going to be using Python 3.9x with patch variables installed. We're also going to be installing dbt core, which will be installed as part of the dbt Dremio package. And we're also going to be using Visual Studio Code as our code editor of choice. In this demo, we'll be covering how to install dbt Dremio at using the PyPy index. We'll be installing GitHub Desktop. We'll be creating and initializing a new dbt project, testing the dbt Dremio connection. We'll be running some example models and seeing how they show up in the Dremio UI. And then finally, after we're all done, we'll publish the changes to the Git repository. In this demo, we'll be using Windows Server. Mac will also be supported. Now let's get started and into the actual demo. With all our prerequisites installed, we're now ready to install our dbt Dremio adapter. Let's do this by starting a new command prompt window. Within the command prompt window, you're going to type in pip install dbt Dremio. dbt Dremio is the PyPy index name that we'll be using to do the installation. When you run that installation, it's going to copy a few files over. And now dbt core as well as the dbt Dremio adapter is now installed. We can close out of that. And now we can actually log into our GitHub profile, which you see here, I've logged into my profile, and we can create a new repository. I'm going to name this repository dbt underscore demo. Make this a private repository for the purposes of this demo and then create the new repository. All right, now that we have the new repository, we can actually um, now go back and I'm gonna launch this repository within my GitHub desktop. And now you can see the repository is now listed here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and click that repository and I'm gonna clone this into our local path. Um, the documents dbt demo path is fine. I'm going to be choosing that one. I'm going to click clone. And when that's all set, it'll show zero change files because it's an empty repository, but that's fine. We expect that. I'm going to close out of this. And, and now I'm going to launch another command prompt window and navigate to that directory. And then now we can do a dbt init and then the name of the project you'd like to give it. I'm just going to name it dbt underscore demo. All right, now that we have um, the Dremio adapter installed, it's going to put that on the list of plugins that's available. I'm going to select that Dremio plugin. You have three choices for the Dremio type that you have. You can either connect to Dremio Cloud you can connect to Dremio software using a username and password, or you can connect to software using a PAT. We're going to be using option number two, connecting to the software with username and password. The software host is the IP address of your Dremio box. We're going to connect to that. I'm going to enter that right now. The port 9047 default is fine. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to enter a username. And then I'm going to accept the use SSL default option, which is false. So as well as the number of threads. All right. Now that your uh, new project dbt underscore demo is created, we can actually go ahead and we can double check that it created the project and launch a new Explorer window into the documents directory, dbt demo. And you can see it created the base 
project directories. Um, we're going to actually open this folder within our code editor Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code, do an open folder, and then I'm going to navigate to the project folder that it's listed in. And we're going to see the whole structure show up. Um, analysis, macros, you can use macros for the user defined functions. This is where your models are. It, DBT puts a couple of example models in here, but we'll be creating our own as well for the Dremio. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then within the DBT project YAML file, there's a few paths that you can set for settings as well as how to materialize the views. Um, The profile here that you see is named dbt underscore demo. That matches up with a profiles.yaml file that gets created in the uh, user profile section. Uh, that can be found in your administrator dbt, users administrator dbt. As you see, it created the profiles.yaml file when we initiated the project. I'm going to actually open this up to look at. And you can see that it created the all the host information, port information into a YAML file. Whichever sources that you use for dbt, you're going to need a, a YAML file for. So this is where you would actually come in and change it. We're going to close out of this. So now to test the connection between the uh, Dremio and dbt adapter, we're going to actually launch a new terminal. And we're going to run a dbt debug. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, dbt space debug. My bad there. All right. So you have all greens for the connections. As you can see, it's on the profiles.yaml file. It has the dbt project.yaml. And you also found gits and as well as the, the little connection test. So now with Dremio connected, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new model here in the examples file. So I'm going to open this here and I'm going to actually copy this. I'm going to go back to the project. And we're going to create a new file here under example. We're going to create a new file. We're going to call it Dremio table test SQL. All right. And within that, I'm going to paste this. All right. So just to explain a little bit about what we're doing here, um, this line one here, it is the command to is to materialize the view in the table. It overrides the default of the dbt project YAML so that it materializes into a table. And the select statement that we're doing here is a simple selecting three columns from our New York City taxi trips table that's sitting on our Dremio. And we're going to limit that to five for the purposes of this demo. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. And now's probably a good time to lock into the Dremio UI to show you uh, what that table looks like. So, all right, now that we've logged into this Dremio box here, uh, we can actually do a search for the data set. And I'm just going to search for New York City. All right. And if you look here, this is the table that we're accessing in the select statement. Uh, and then if you do a quick run, you'll see that there's six columns, pickup date, passenger count, trip distance. Um, for the purposes of the demo, we're going to extract out three of the columns into a new table, transform that. So now we'll go back to the project here. Um, saved everything is good so we're going to go back to the terminal window here and now we can actually do a dbt run and 
what this is going to do is actually it's going to found the three models and it's going to run the two example models as well as the model that we created. And then once that's done, it will tell you that it's completed successfully. And we can go ahead and go back to the jobs list here on Dremio. And you can show that here's the Dremio table test. And click there and it'll show you some information there such as CPU used, uh, duration, things like that. Um, we can actually go back to the table that it created because we told it to materialize into a table. And we can demio underscore table test. And we can actually go in there and see three columns that were created. And, you know, from here you have the option of either launching uh, Tableau or Power BI or you can actually save the view as well. So you can save the view in your personal space and call it anything you'd like. I'm just going to call it Taxi DBT. You can save it and you can go ahead and in your spaces, you'll see that it created a Dremio DBT here. Taxi DBT. Here it is. And you can click in through here and it will have the same information that you saw earlier. So, so now that you have the models working, let's see how we can use that to now commit the project right into your new repository there. So if you launch GitHub Desktop again, you should see all the changes that it made, right? Um, 13 change files, any code changes that you'd make would show up here. Uh, we're going to actually go ahead and do a commit. Call this my first commit for the summary. We're just going to so we're just going to do that here. Minimize all the windows. So. All right. So we're going to do commit to main. And once that's committed, you can now go to the right hand side here and hit publish branch. This will actually check in the code into your new repository. It'll take a couple minutes for it to do that. And once it's done, you're all set. You can actually now go back to the GitHub repository that you have. You do a refresh. And you'll see that my first commit is here. So now, you know, as you can see, this is a good, um, um, mechanism to to work with your team right to commit code and interact and be able to keep track of all the changes that's going on in your project and that's all i had for my demo today if uh if i hope that you've learned uh a few things here from how to get started with dbt uh, and dremio and if there's any questions about anything that we've went through today please feel free to uh, contact me here at the email above here in the screen and be able to help you out. Thank you for your time today.